A conductor is not the person who's on the train. A conductor is simply a material that charge can follow in. Conductors are usually made of metal because metals allow charges to jump from one atom to another freely with little opposition. Uh, some materials are better conductors than others. And again, we want to have materials that allow for the free flow of electrons. And again, I'll just remind you, it's no secret, even though it's the flow of electrons, we say that positive charges are the ones that are moving. Uh, the flow of electrons, or charges, we should say, are just another word for current, because it's not always electrons. Another way to look at this is that some conductors resist current greater than or, or a lesser extent. Uh, can you think of a material that is a conductor? It's a metal. It's very common. They use this in your house for the wires. Think about that for another second. I'll give you the answer. In most cases, it's copper. Uh, what is a material that is not a conductor? What's the opposite of a metal? A non-metal, and an example of a non-metal that's something that does not allow charge to flow through it, is a ceramic. In most, at least at room temperature. Uh, in the old days, they would use glass to rest wires on to prevent them from touching electric poles. And they did this because they were non-metal. Uh, and they were actually referred to as insulators. So different materials have different conductivity or different levels of conduction of charges or movement of, allow for different levels of movement of charge. Uh, and the opposite of conductivity is resistivity or resistance. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of charge. And we represent resistance with a capital letter R and the symbol omega. If we increase the resistance, if we increase the opposition to the flow of charge, can you predict what happens to the current? The current will go down. Check out the simulation and play with conductors. Take some time and visit. Um, the quantitative relationship that relates current, voltage, and resistance is called Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law, I'll put it into words, current is voltage over resistance. I'm going to abbreviate, and you can write it as I equals V over R, or R equals V over I, or V equals IR. And these are the units. The, this symbol omega is for ohms. V is for voltage, or volts. And A is for amperes, or amps. Check out the music video.